Hi, Bother Brigade. Here's what's bothering me today. It's already been a very crazy and chaotic week at work. And uh, that also means that some of the other videos that I had planned, like with some stuff that, like there's a new convoy headed to Ottawa and stuff like this. And so I wanted to go over several things about that and like fascist symbols and some of these organizers. And then we still have the good news from April video. And then we still haven't really done the Sunday sum because this last weekend was just way too busy. So I was like, there's all these little things in the meantime, but obviously I'm not going to spend the entirety of a evening during the week to do that. But I do have a positive story for people, uh, which I think given yesterday's video, we could all use a little bit of hope and optimism and some decent messaging. Uh, so, you know, I know I've mentioned this before on this channel about, you know, you can't give up hope and yeah, yesterday's video was rough, but it doesn't mean I've given up hope. It's just still really frustrating to see all this stuff happen and people not even paying attention to people crying out to be heard on subject matter. But there was something good that happened today with regards to the pandemic that is still very much going on, but is not dominating the news cycle. Instead, everything is about sports, Elon Musk buying Twitter, and the war in Ukraine. Like, that's basically all the news feed is about these days. And I know the rest of those stories can often be pretty difficult for people to talk about or go through. So here's a little something positive and a reminder that there is goodness in humanity still. So one of the many things that I had to do today was after work, I had to go to the bank and pay my taxes. Basically you go, you tell them, yeah, this is what I owe. Send it to whatever account the government's, you know, deciding to, um, receive this from, take it from my checking account, blah, 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 do all the good banking and stuff like that. And this is Ontario. So we don't really have mask mandates in most places anymore. It all seems to be, with few exceptions, pretty voluntary. And so that's why it was actually very interesting to see that at this bank, nearly everyone was masked. All the tellers and all the people in like the different meeting rooms that were working there as part of the bank, they all, to a T, were wearing masks. There was, I was about one of... 20 like 18 to 20 or so uh customers in the bank and uh most of us were in line some were just waiting to use one of the machines but again out of like this collective group of about 18 to 20 or so people there were only i think three who weren't wearing masks and one of them who i guess maybe realized oh shoot i forgot my mask she just took her head scarf and put it you know over her face so there you go impromptu mask and uh, the others, well, one of them was unfortunately behind me and the other one was in front of me. So, yay, I'm blessed, I guess. But uh, I want to talk a little bit about the guy behind me, because clearly he was also looking around and noticing all the different people who, again, they weren't required to, right? Masks were not required to be served here. No one was making a comment one way or the other. But clearly he was looking around and realized that all the workers and the vast majority of his fellow you know, citizens who were customers at the bank were wearing masks, including you know me, the guy in front of him, and the guy behind him, and looking around and lots and lots of people. And after a few minutes, because, you know, it took a long time to actually get through the bank and get to the tellers at the front desk and everything. After just a few minutes, see the guy start doing this. And he's, you know, zipping up his vest and he's just clearly trying to keep his face down and sort of make a mask out of his vest and his shirt, basically. No one said anything. No one said, you know, hey, man, do you mind putting on a mask? And it wasn't, you know, it's my right. I have a fight against tyranny. There was none of that. He was just looking around at the majority of, you know, his fellow citizens in this one little bank and realized, huh, maybe, maybe I'm in the wrong here. 
And he came to that conclusion on his own with, you know, no one else kind of saying anything. No one was jeering him, you know, uh, mocking him. No one was giving him, you know, the stink eye or anything like that. And eventually, on his own conclusion, he realized, hmm, you know what, maybe I, sh maybe I should join in with everyone. And I think there's a valuable lesson to be had there, where without, you know, specifically saying anything, but just people speaking with their actions and showing that they are clearly trying to care about each other and about their own health and safety and trying to meaningfully do their part to get over this long and terrible pandemic that keeps being botched by governments big and small and it's hard to argue against that right when you're looking at your average citizen and we're talking all different kinds of people here right there's people you know my age we got old people we got young people we got white people we got black people we got brown people like it was all different kinds of people in this bank and one guy who came in there thinking yeah no it's fine i don't need to wear a mask and then just sort of casually observing the situation and how the rest of us were behaving in terms of masking up he eventually tried to do the best he could with what he had which was a shirt and a vest so you know maybe that's the answer here for all this stuff right is not trying to necessarily convince people but by showing up with our actions and basically in a kind of, you know, subversive way, unofficially shaming them and making them realize, hey, you know, maybe, maybe I, I am a fringe minority. Maybe I am in the wrong here. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to do the thing. Maybe there's a lesson to be taken from here and how people interpret that. That's up to them. But for me, it was something somewhat nice to see that one of the people, one of the few people in the bank who wasn't wearing a mask eventually tried to mask up in some way but it is also important for me to note that again without you know mandatory masking the vast majority of people in the bank decided that it was still in the interests of them and the local community to continue masking and doing their civic duty and so between these two aspects of this singular story of me paying my taxes, I think that's a little bit of hope and optimism that a lot of us quite frankly need and will hopefully appreciate. But the fact that, you know, we are still dealing with this pandemic after two goddamn years and we still have issues with government and people not doing the right thing so that we can all stop having to do this. That is still so deeply unfortunate, and it's definitely what's bothering me today.